are looking at a summit that I just finished. This one is somewhat unique uh, because it has some special features that I'm going to show you. I do have my 5mm modular mouthpiece in there and I'm going to walk through every detail of this horn uh, because it's a lot of fun. I love building custom horns for our customers um, and this horn was built for um, a client who does quite a bit of playing. Uh, he's a really good player and he wanted this exact setup so we get it all put together. Um, I'm going to pull the tuning slide out a little bit. I'm going to walk through every piece of this, play it for you, and then if you have questions on this video, feel free to write in the comments your questions, and I'm happy to help you. And always remember, Harrelson Trumpets, um, I build all the horns myself. I have a team that helps me do all the cleanup and uh, work with customers and all those things. But really, if you want a custom-made horn from uh, an individual, then this is the place to go. We are offer more custom configurations and options than all other manufacturers combined. And uh, a lot of times people say, well, how is that possible? Uh, well, the reality is we have thousands of different configurations. Um, and then we add up all the options of like inlays and top and bottom caps, finger ring styles, all the stuff that you can do. Tuning slides, bell crooks, you know, the, the whole thing. It adds up to a lot of components and we specialize in that. So at Harrelson Trumpets, we're right here in Denver, Colorado. A lot of our clients will fly in, they'll play horns for two or three hours, get a shop tour, get to visit with us, maybe go have lunch, and then they go home and either they go home with their horn or they have us custom build them one. And uh, that's what we do. That's really almost all we do is build custom horns for individuals. So the other companies, the reason they don't do as much custom work is because they specialize in mass production. Completely different thing. So this is a VPS Summit. This has the B2 style body on the mouthpiece. It does come out. You can use any mouthpiece in our horns, but uh, I've got mine in there. And uh, when you buy a new Harrelson Summit, it includes the 5mm modular mouthpiece. Let me get that up close so you can see. We've got the client's actual signature in the horn. I'll put the mouthpiece back in so you can see the fit. That's how nice it fits. And this is in brushed raw brass, so you could do it in silver or gold or acoustic armor or something else. It's got really nice Dicrolam inlays in the finger buttons. And those are the new captive inlay style, which basically means um, they're going to last for life. They're never going to fall out or have any kind of issues. Um, unlike standard inlays that can be set in a bezel set or uh, glued in, those can fall out or have other problems like stress fractures, things like that. This does have the Venturi gap receiver. So I'm going to pull the mouthpiece out, set that down, and then I'm going to take the receiver off so you can see. If you're not familiar with this system, this separates the men from the boys. And in reality, when you pull this receiver off, you can change an insert right here. And that insert will determine your flexibility, slotting, airflow, um, even your resonance. So I'm going to grab an insert. I'm going to do a 342 number 8, and I'll show you how I put that on there. I just snapped it on, but I'll do it again. So that just snaps on, so pull it off, snaps right on the end there, and we'll put the receiver back on. And there we go. So now we have the horn complete with the insert inside, and um, I'll show you the rest of the features of this horn. This is our high efficiency lead pipe. It's fully machined on our CNC equipment and uh, that is accurate to a thousandth of an inch. So it's very high efficiency and it's very accurate. This one you can see was built. We started the build in September of this year. On the other side we can see it is a lead pipe 2 bell 11. 11 is an R which is a red brass bell. So you can see it's got the, the red brass to it. We have our high efficiency finger buttons, which are known as Mod 2, high efficiency valve stems, um, the standing wave efficiency top caps and bottom caps, a screw stop, but we also have other options. We have the skeletonized finger rings, which is not a common option. Saturn water keys. Like I said, the Dicro lamp. Here's the other view from the other side. And we have the SWE machined bell crook style D and the tuning slide is style R. These are fully machined components. So pretty much everything on here is machined with the exception of the bell. 
um, pretty much everything else is machined. So let me put my mouthpiece in and we'll play this for a minute. It's just really big, it's rich. The tone color, I mean the vibrancy that's coming out of this is just so beautiful. Wow, I love this configuration. feels really good. Yeah, that's that's nice. <laughs> and it's a powerhouse. So this is the VPS Summit. Uh, this is one of my favorite horns to build. We have other variations. We also have the Muse Modular, which is a fully modular horn. And essentially the modular version is similar to a Summit because it has the same type of bell crook and tuning slide, but the bells and the lead pipe components are all interchangeable. So if you're looking for a fixed solid one piece horn where everything's configured and it stays that way, that is the VPS Summit. If you're looking for the version that is completely modular, that's the Muse Modular. Um, so thank you for joining me and uh, make sure to check out our other reviews.